Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Okay, so today I'm going to try to do a really fast clean with me. I tried to do this the other day, but it didn't have to happen. So I'm gonna do a speed clean with me. My house isn't too dirty, so I just need like vacuum, do dishes, and there's little other knickknacks. So this is my Saturday cleaning routine, so go ahead and clean with me. Okay, guys, so the first thing I usually do on Saturday mornings when Brian works is I do go ahead and do laundry on those Saturday mornings. Otherwise, I'm just usually doing it on Fridays. So yeah, I just do this, and then all the shirts that I don't like to dry, because I don't want them to shrink or anything, I just lay them over the top of the washer head, like the top of the washer lid, and then I will take them to my room and then hang them up. Then obviously we always head to the kitchen because dishes. So I do like to wash out the sink just before I start actually like filling it up with soap. Sometimes I use bleach and sometimes I don't. And then I'm just going back and forth like while the sink fills up, putting up the dishes that I have in the dishwasher because that is where I dry my dishes but I don't use a dishwasher to wash my dishes. So that's just what you're seeing right now and then you see the kids kind of cleaning up in the background because their dad's getting onto them. So yeah, we're just working on the kitchen right now, washing dishes and putting dishes away and whatnot. So usually when I am done, well actually always when I am done doing the dishes, I do go spray the cabinets down and I've actually been using this Love a Home and Planet spray. I also really like the scent of the Mrs. Meyer spray. And so yeah, I usually go wipe down the counters, clean down the counters, and so if there's any mail, I'll open that and look at it really fast, decide whether we need to save it or just trash it and also just like, you know, like just get things in their place so that way we have nice clean countertops. So then once we're done with the countertops, of course we always go to the kitchen table. So I just clean off like I clean off the actual table and then I'll go and I'll wipe down King's little chair where he sits and he eats and his little like tray. And of course like we're just cleaning up like water bottles, getting things in their places. One thing I don't like about stainless steel is how easy the boy's fingerprints get on it. So that is something that I have to clean at least once a week. And then here we just go, I go ahead and start in the living room, start wiping down the TV because it was smudged really bad. And Brian is actually looking for a remote in the background. So the way I clean is I actually use like all the tools and sprays all at once. That's why I did switch to the living room for just a quick little minute because I still had the spray out. But after that, I go back to the kitchen and just start sweeping and cleaning up the floors. So now we're going back to the living room and we will start cleaning up the living room floors, just vacuuming. This is probably my favorite part about cleaning is just to be able to see the nice vacuum lines and just see a clean floor. I feel like if the floor is clean, it can automatically change the appearance of a room. So now that I've finished the front of the house, I go all the way to the back of the house, which is my bedroom. And you can just see me putting up some stuff from working out and then hanging up the wet shirts from the laundry earlier. And then I'm literally right here just getting everything like back into its place because there was a lot of stuff that was out of place. 
so yeah I do work from like I do the whole front of the house and then I come to the back of the house which is my room and then I work my way back forward and so right now I'm just straightening up the bed getting things back in its place and you know just straightening up and making my house look tidy So my bedroom has to be my absolute number one favorite room to vacuum just because of the size of it and because of the condition of the carpet you can still get those nice crisp fresh vacuum lines. My floors I actually vacuum like twice a week even if they don't need it just to get those vacuum lines back in the carpet. Like I said I feel like a clean carpet and clean floor, floors can make your house look a lot cleaner than it is. Okay, and now heading to the boys room for the most part they clean up their own room I'll just go in and like pick up the little knickknacks that they leave around on the floor that they don't really know where, where they go and obviously toys that they just choose not to pick up but for the most part my kids are responsible for cleaning their own room I just go in there and fix beds and vacuum and just do the things that obviously that they can't do due to like motor skills Okay, and then last but not least, I do go to my guest room. For the most part, this room stays pretty clean other than jackets because this is where we keep our jackets and coats is in the guest room closet. So other than that, I just really come in here to vacuum and maybe just like fix the bed just a little bit. But this room stays clean for the most part. I hope that you guys like this is good cleaning motivation. One thing I try to tell people, if you can do little chores every single day, then when you deep clean, it's not that bad. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. That is all for today's video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah!